information on a tragic accident that claimed the life of a pedestrian. Investigators are telling us the 30-year-old victim was jaywalking at the time near Nellis and Charleston. Action News reporter Michael Burton spent the afternoon in that area where neighbors say police, uh, where neighbors say people jaywalk there because they have to. Stand on Charleston Boulevard between Nellis and Arden for an hour. This is what you'll see. Dozens risking their life to cross the street. They do it constantly. Um, it happens every day. Even when uh, after he got hit, they were still jaywalking. He being the 30 year old man that was killed right here in the middle of the street after being hit by a car. Cars have been going 60. By the time a car's headlights tell them that there's someone in the road, at this speed, there's no time to stop. That's why many are saying something has to change. There is no marked crosswalk with lights that pedestrians can push that tells drivers I'm crossing. Police say the victim was jaywalking. Neighbors say they jaywalk because the nearest places to cross with a signal and a crosswalk are all the way on Nellis or down on Arden, which may be inconvenient for those who don't need to go that far to get to their destination. It is about, I'd say, 300, 400 yards, not even farther. That's why they believe authorities should add a crosswalk and a sign ordering drivers to yield to pedestrians near this intersection where the man died Wednesday. There's no crosswalks back there and there's no stoplights. It's too dangerous for my kids. So I spoke with the Nevada Department of Transportation and they tell me they do have plans to make this road safer. They're installing pedestrian activated warning lights and fencing around the median to discourage jaywalking and channel foot traffic to crosswalks. That project is currently in the design phase and is expected to be done by the middle of next year. But traffic experts tell me that crosswalks don't save lives. Only good decisions can do that. I'm Michael Burton, Channel 13 Action News.